All right, so let's go ahead and connect to our database called test and create our very first table. So I'm going to go ahead and press backslash and then C for connect and then test and then enter. You can see that I'm now connected to database test as user Amigos code. So let me go ahead and clear the screen. So control L and to create our very first table, we need to write this command that I've showed you previously. So just let me open the docs or actually the slides so that you remember exactly what I have mentioned in the previous video. So create table, the name, and then the actual columns. So in uppercase for SQL commands, create and then table, and then the actual name was person. And remember this was singular and then open parentheses. And now if I press enter, this command won't be executed until I end up with a semicolon. So now let's go ahead and have our very first column called ID. And this was int, so uppercase int. And then we also had the first name. And this was var char and then 50. We also had last name. And this was var char 52. We also had gender. And this was var char, and I think it was six or seven, but let's go ahead with seven. And then let's go ahead and finally have the actual date of birth. So date of and then birth. And we said that instead of timestamp, right, because we don't really um, know, you know, the time of when someone, you know, uh, gives birth, we don't usually store that information. So let's go ahead and have the data type as date. And I'm going to end that with a parenthesis. So open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and then end that with a semicolon. So if I now execute this command, so press enter, you see that we have a table. Now, the way that we see the list of all the tables that we have in our database is simply by pressing backslash and then D. So D for describe. So if I press backslash D, you can see that we have one table called person and you can see the type is table. Now we can even go one step further and that is to describe the actual table name. So person, if I press enter, and now you can see that we have one table called person and the columns are ID, first name, last name, gender and date of birth. And you can see the type. So the data type, integer characters, and then date right here. And there is some extra information. So nullable. So these are like constraints. And you can also have default values when you create a record in this table. And this is how you create a table using Postgres. So this is all for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you, uh, you know, few things that are actually wrong with this table and improve on it. This is all for now. Join me in the next video. See ya.